This is Tank's Vlog for December 12th, 2018. We are wrapping up today in sports and brought to you by Allow Me To Be Frank, the weekly podcast you can hear on SoundCloud and iTunes. You can also buy this nice shirt. By looking up uh, Tuma Tuna, or you can buy the nice and competent shirts. Check out Allow Me to Be Frank on SoundCloud and iTunes, and buy the shirt. Buy the shirt. You will buy this shirt, and you will listen on SoundCloud and iTunes. You will listen. SoundCloud and iTunes. Allow Me to Be Frank. Oh, what a shocking upset today in college basketball. You know, college basketball gets the reputation for being a one-month sport because the NCAA tournament is so terrific. But sometimes in December, there's some stories that pop up and go, Wow! And today was one of those situations. As Penn beat defending champion Villanova 78-75. Of course, these are rivals within the city of Philadelphia, part of the Big Five, or the Big Five teams of uh, Philadelphia college basketball. And it was Penn, who is usually pretty much always losing these games, even though they're a good team, they're an Ivy League team. So when they go against the likes of Villanova, Temple, St. Joseph's, uh, they usually have their issues and their troubles, and, and they're just just the nature of the beast. I mean, the Ivy League. I mean, they're not athletes. They're the future doctors and lawyers who just happen to have a little basketball skill. Uh, but big win today by the Quakers. I mean, this first time they've beaten Villanova in sixteen years. And, uh, of course, this is not the same Villanova team that won a national title last year. They had a lot of players now in the NBA. But still, the same. It, you got to feel good for uh, the, the people at Penn as they went crazy at the Pandemonia at the Palestra, running over the court at the end of the game. NBA, very light night in the NBA. Only three games. Houston Rockets trying to get back to 500. Beat the uh, Trailblazers 111 to 103. James Harden had 29 points to lead the way. It was the Spurs getting back to 500. 111 86 winners over the absolute dreadful Phoenix Suns. Oh, God. Please don't tell me they're going to get Zion Williamson. You want to talk about, you want to talk about uh, putting uh, Zion Williamson in the NBA uh, Witness Protection Program? That's what Phoenix has become. This used to be a good team, good organization, always solid. Oof. They are just awful. They're bad on the road, 1-13 on the road. Oof, what has happened to Phoenix Suns? Trailbla the uh, uh, Toronto Raptors went out west and got a big game from Serge Ibaka to lead the way in a 123-99 win over the Clippers. NHL. It was the Bruins with Brad Marchand getting two goals and an assist, beating the Coyotes 4-3. They trailed early in that one. It was the Sabres getting back in the winning column with a 4-3 overtime win in against the Los Angeles Kings. Big game-winning shot by Jeff Skinner. Skinner! It was the Maple Leafs 4-1 winners over the Hurricanes. John Tavares got his 19th goal of the year. The Canucks beat the Blue Jackets 3-2. The Capitals got a hat-trick from Alexander Ovechkin. Who is now the youngest, uh, the oldest player to have 30 goals this early in the season, or 25 goals early in the season? Is 25 goals, I should say. I mean, why? How do? 
how the sports just shouldn't realize there's a sport called hockey. They have ice. It's more exciting than basketball. You don't have to name a whole team sports people of the year. Alexander Ovechkin should have been you, you the, the SI sportsman, sports person, sports whatever of the year. Whatever they want to call it. That should have gone to Alexander Ovechkin. And SI wonders why it's Readings are going down. Why they they only publish now every other week? I mean, it's bad enough the magazine industry is dying, but you don't have to commit suicide. It was the Blues for three winners over the Panthers. The Predators three one winners over the Senators. The Wild. Rocked the Canadian seven to one. The Jets doubled up the Black Hawks six to three. That's eight straight losses for the Black Hawks. Joe Quenville, you're fired. Oh, wait a second, you already fired him. Wah, 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 wah. Devils, please hire Joe Quenville. Please, please make the Blackhawks look stupid when he turns your team around. And it was the Oilers, 6-4 winners over the Avalanche. Well, at least playing Quebec, so I could call him the Avalanche. Today's three stars are Alexander Ovechkin with his hat trick. Serge Ibaka of the Raptors with 25 points and nine rebounds. And Brad Marchant of the Bruins who had two goals, one assist. Look, people want to know when my updates are going to start again for the NBA and the NHL. I'm trying. I need help with these. I'm going to try when I get to Idaho next week. Try to do two a week, a, a, week, a, get a, a day. I really need to get back on track on these. But I got something, another big project that's coming up at the end of the week that you're all going to enjoy. So, the updates are coming, the updates are coming, the updates are coming. And if you want to help out, email me at tanks at sportsycyclopedia.com. Today's birthday shout-out goes to an early... NHL legend, an NBA legend. And I'm talking about Bob Pettit, who turns 86... And we take a look back to 1965, when Gail Sayers ran wild, becoming the third player in NFL history to have a six-touchdown game. So check out the story at Barstool Sports and Sports Encyclopedia, where sports history lives. Good day. And of course, don't forget, Allow me to be frank. You will listen. You will listen. You will listen. SoundCloud. iTunes.